Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Eversolo DMP A6. In this short video we're also going to talk about inserting um, an M.2 SSD card into it so that we can use it as a network server. One of the things that I really really like about this box. This year the talk of the town in the hi-fi world is definitely the Eversolo DMP A6. Why does the hi-fi community love this, this box so much? Well, firstly, it's a great streamer and it's built around a twin DAC, uh, Sabre DAC system. It can also be a very, very good network server. And I've retained this unit with a network uh, storage card that I bought off Amazon, basically, as my new network server. Thirdly, it has fully balanced internal circuitry and there are XLR outputs. Fourthly, there's a great touch screen which you can see here and it's really easy to use. The functionality is excellent. And finally, at this price, the quality is exemplary. For example, this is a fully aluminium case, top and bottom, with a flush uh, touch screen on the front. And finally, who doesn't like VU meters? Look at that, love it. Just looking at the rear of the DMP A6, you can see the XLR balanced output, RCA output, digital output and digital input, including a USB-C and USB-3 input. OK, I'm just going to talk you through the uh, fitting of the solid state drive, the M.2 model that goes in the bottom of the Eversolo. You can see we just take the cover off with a small, uh, small little crosshead screw there, it's magnetic. Um, and then it's a very simple matter of just getting the M.2 card really. Okay, so you can see the nook just there. I'm going to slide the card into the top of the slot that's waiting for it. This little mechanical ring just locates physically the card in place. And you can see there's the little click as it goes into place. That's perfect. Then this little ring slots on top, keeps it in place. And that's it, minute and a half, done. Okay, check everything's in place, give it a feel, but otherwise that's fine. If I can do it, really anybody can do this. Slot that back in place and we're done. Okay, so what did we say about the Ever Solo in our review on the website? Well, generally I'm finding the fixed output streaming presentation from this box to be extremely pleasant indeed. And whether I'm using Cobus or Tidal, I'd characterize the presentation as being quite forward, but vivid in a very good way. All of the resolution and the, de and the detail I'm looking for is delivered by this streaming DAC. Now, as you've just seen, I've purchased a two terabyte SSD card for this box at 94 pounds, and it's a crazy price for two terabytes of storage. And you've just seen it took a couple of minutes to fit and install, maybe another 30 seconds to format the disk using the touch screen. And in my view, the SSD card sounds at least as good compared to my name Unity serve, which is a good, let's say, 10 years old and is probably on its way out. I daren't turn it off. I would wager that this, uh, this ever solo uh, setup with the SSD would give a Melco or an Inuos server a good run for its money at £2,000. OK, so you've, you've seen my view of this Eversolo DMP A6, and you'll know this, this box is heavily reviewed on YouTube as well. What have some of the other guys had to say about the box? Well, I saw Steve Huff, who's a really a proper hi-fi guy, say, this is the bargain of the year, and this is absolutely the, the best streamer for the money. Cheap Audio Man, who we also like, said, this sounds really, really good and it has a beautiful display. I agree with all that. John Darko, who was our hi-fi YouTube guru, said, it is incredible. It really is. It is fantastic. And also 13th Note said, this is a lovely sound stage and staging with an impactful low bass. So I think we're all in agreement. This is an absolutely fabulous piece of equipment at the price point it's delivered at. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. 
as we celebrate 10 years of Hi-Fi Music Source. Look out for some more videos in due course.